Ooh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good this promo. I'm feeling good. Hey, I'm feeling good. Guys, we have the new Palinia SPC to review today. My boy, the absolute beast of a CDM that could potentially get upgraded, okay? Guys, we're taking a look at a card with six foot three, medium high work rates, right footed three star skills with a four star weak foot. The main purpose of using this card in your team is to actually play in your CDM position and to defend for you, okay? Trust me, I, I was using the Boris 4231 with this card on balance instructions for a little bit, but then I was like, nah, I gotta keep him on state back. And then when I kept him on state back, we're talking about some crazy defensive capabilities, okay? Still, let me tell you something, okay? The Inform card is one of the main reasons, right? One of the main reasons I like this game so much, okay? Because the fact that I have a proper CDM is amazing, okay? He has two different position changes, CDM and center mid, which is very important uh, to be able to rotate your team. Player traits, he has dives into tackles, which to be honest with you guys, I think is, uh, for me, like his tackle animations, they're crazy on the inform card, okay? They're crazy. In-game attributes, I know people are gonna be taking a look at this card in, re in regards to pace and be like, oh, that's too low. Guys, it would be low. It would be low if he wasn't a lengthy player, okay? Let me show you guys something, okay? So this card has 71 acceleration, 72 for sprint speed. The Inform card on a Shadow Chemistry style is on 7576. I currently use him on 7576 on a Shadow. If you take a look at this card, you can give him a Shadow and have 79 acceleration with 80 sprint speed. But guess what? Because he's a lengthy player, if you feel like giving him the extra physical capabilities, you give him an anchor, I'll tell you this right now, that those pace stats, they're still perfectly fine to work with. I'll tell you this right now, because if that's the same pace with more aggression, more strength, more jumping, because look, look at the physical stat difference, right? We're talking about a plus one in that area, a plus one. So it's not that significant. And I'll tell you this right now, the physical is already good to work with. So that's where a shadow could be really nice. That extra pace while working with the lengthy, and then you boost his defense as much as possible. And then in the future, if he gets upgraded, Right? Maybe you slap that anchor on him. Hey, listen, you could even slap it right now. Potentially, okay? But uh, you guys know me. The pace with the lengthy, really huge thing to work with. Passing capabilities is there. He's got the four star weak foot for it at an 88 for composure. Hey, don't get me wrong. Agility and balance is not great on this card. It's pretty noticeable when it comes to the on the ball dribbling on the inform card. I'm pretty sure it'll be noticeable on this bad boy. But like I've kept saying, okay? The main purpose of this card is to be your defensive CDM that just does I, I've managed to score like maybe like one or two goals with this inform card. I couldn't even check afterwards, but it's just to defend, okay? So uh, defensive capabilities on the shadow chemistry style is gonna be in a very high area, which is a huge plus with the medium high work rates. And then for physical capabilities, uh, the card's in a very good area as well. So it's two squads for this guy. So let me just go ahead and unlock him and I'll show you guys how we line him up in game. Look at this absolute beauty of a man in the team. Dude, it looks so good with the color design. Like the color design is meant for the Portuguese players. I'm telling you this right now, bro. It's just meant for it, okay? Like the green, the red, oh my goodness. All right, where is it? Shadow chemistry style, boom. All right, give me my brick wall. What we're gonna do here, four, two, three, one. Defensive player, we're just gonna let him attack against us, let's be honest. Instruction, stay back while attacking cover center. Beauty, let's go try him out. See, this card for 20K, man, I told you guys, man. I told you guys. I even just tried Lukaku in this card. I still like this card more than that Lukaku right now. Don't worry about it. We got it. Look at how he did. He was doing that already. His passes, by the way, is, like they're perfectly fine. I trust me. I know from like the inform card. It's just the dribbling. When you start doing this stuff, this stuff, that's where it becomes a little bit of a problem. You have to work with that a little bit. He 
see how when I let go of him, first of all, the, the pace, people are looking too much at the pace. Guys, the lengthy on this card is what makes his movement really good, man. I'm telling you. I try a shot. I trust me. I never would shoot with him normally. Oh, for the sake of the review. Thank you, sir. Nah, my G. We got the height. Ooh, the L1R1 shot. Has the reach. Nice little four star weak foot there. Now we're good. Bad pass, and I still get it. Let's go. Nice try, nice try. Well done, my boy. Intercept that with the weak foot. See the lengthy for the CDMs, man, I'm telling you guys, it's super, super helpful. <laughs> uh, got the initial interception there, but you know, I gotta go for those shots. Do you see where he's positioned once I activated the, uh, the double tap R1 and how fast he was tracking after the guy the entire time? Even ended up being inside the 18 yard box there. Take that too, nice. No, oh, that would have been sick. One more? Oh. Oh, almost. The weak foot challenge was good there. Track back is good. Get back into position. Nice. Yes. Oh. Hey, I'm not going to say you don't have to work with the dribbling. You definitely do, okay? I trust me. I know from his inform. Pass off there. Allegri on switch. Imagine his goalie just glitched out. Okay, he commits on the attack there. <laughs> I'll take it. Nice to take that. And we're on switch upwards. See what I'm saying? He uses his body really well there. It's actually really solid. Because he's on stay back while attacking, guys, and I'm so familiar with his pace on his inform card, I genuinely wouldn't mind giving him an anchor right now. Misplaced a tackle there, but runs back really, really quickly, which is what he has to be doing. See? Even, look at this card on the shadow. Like, you think that pace actually looks like 70 in those situations? It's not because of the lengthy. I'm telling you guys. Because there's going to be so many situations where from the midfield to the defense, he's going to need his pace and work rates to run back. He does that consistently. Good challenge. Q 
Chiesa is such a beast. Such a beast. I told you guys to do that SBC, man. He's sick. Collect, use the body, nice. Got the reach for it, nice. Almost. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Palinga card. Yo, look how many dislikes this card has. Oh, man, that's funny. That is funny. Listen, let me explain something about this card, okay? This card, I have used his inform card for so long, okay? For so long, it's a very good defensive player, especially if you have like a balance of making sure that he's your most defensive oriented card, right? On the stay back while attacking. But then you're working with, you know, someone like a Renato Sanchez next to him or a Valverde next to him. Like I've mentioned to you guys in the tactic videos, defensively, the card is solid. The reason why it's solid is because of the lengthy accelerate, okay? The fact that I can give this card right now an anchor chemistry style is a really huge plus to make his physical capabilities as good as possible because, like I said, the lengthy is what really carries him to be as good as he possibly can be defensively, right? Because if you take a look at the stat difference between that card and the inform, the extra pace boost is really good and the extra defensive boost is really good. The rest, I understand why people uh, dislike this SBC in regards to a price value. Do I feel like EA could have put it lower? Absolutely. They're kind of playing out my heart heartstrings here. I'm not going to say that they're not, okay? However, for a card that could potentially get upgraded in the future, right? Here's the kicker. It's the links, okay? Because Bernardo Silva is currently a card. At some point in the future, if they release a Diogo Jota card, it would be really nice to get chemistry links between the three players while working with something else. Sure, maybe they introduce a Ruben Diaz card in the future too, but as of right now, we don't really have that. I don't know what type of dynamic duo, S, not SBC, but gameplay objective EA are going to release for the Portuguese players. But as of right now, this is a card that I would personally do myself because I'm probably going to use him for the rest of the year. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Because I don't know if they're ever going to upgrade this card or give him some new sort of promo card at some point. I would pay the 117k for the links that I personally want to work with, right? Again, they're playing at my heartstrings, and I understand why people don't like this SPC because of the way that the pace is set up with the dribbling. Yes, you have to work with the dribbling on the ball, but I'm telling you guys that when you give them a shadow or an anchor, the pace is not that big of an issue because he's a stay back while attacking CDM that has a lengthy, okay? So it's very important to mention those things. The lengthy is the most important thing. If he was controlled... I would agree with you guys 100%, right? But the lengthy is what really pushes it, in my opinion. Now, the other comparison that people are going to make is to Danilo Pereira, which is a very valid comparison because obviously Danilo Pereira and Renato Sanchez gets a triple link setup uh, in that team, which is obviously fantastic because I could probably just do those two, Donnarumma as the goalkeeper, and I'm good to go. But in the future, right, maybe they drop a Vitinha card. Maybe they drop a Nuno Mens card, who are all Portuguese players playing in this club. So a lot of people are going to be looking at this guy and probably going to get him instead. And you wouldn't be wrong to do that because guess what? This card also looks like a fantastic player on a shadow chemistry style because he's also lengthy. Your main purpose of using him in the team is the medium high work rate with the six foot two height and high and average body type. You guys know me, though. I'm, I want to do my best to make two different squads. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like using the same team all the time. Two different on the road to glory. But if I was playing the game in general, it'd be like 12, 14 different squads. That's how I play FIFA, right? But it's one of those types of situation. Is the SBC up there in price? Yes, I do agree with the community in regards to this. But do I personally find him to be a very solid defensive-oriented CDM? Yes, I, I do. You guys know I've used him for so many times this year. All of the tactic videos you guys have seen, he's been the main CDM on stay back while attacking. I, at some point, I even had him on cover center balanced. But obviously, in the attack, he's not that great. So that's why I switched him to stay back, and it became significantly better. So WSBC for me personally, I'm definitely like I said, I think he's going to be the only card for the rest of the year. Right, especially for those Premier League links. That's the big thing here is the Premier League links. Jota, Bernardo Silva, Cancelo, Ruben Diaz. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Oh, the upgrades in the future. Listen, EA. You give this bad boy some upgrades on an anchor, do me justice. Okay, do me justice. Because he looks sick. Actually, maybe not an anchor. 
I think it's still going to be a shadow, to be honest with you guys. Improvements in passing, dribbling. Dribbling is a big one for sure for the on the ball stuff, 100%. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of reviews today again. Okay? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.